welcome back to my channel what i have for you today is a dollar tree fairy garden diy it's been highly requested and i'm happy to do it i love dollar tree diys and i think this fairy garden is going to be really cute i wasn't able to find what i was looking for but i think i found a way to make this to where i think it's going to be really cute now you can put this in a pot if you want or you could set it in your garden this is just to give you some ideas but I had my husband cut me a piece of wood. Like I said, this is just thin plywood. We have tons. <laughs> but wouldn't this make a cute sign? I love, I told him to round the edges. I think that's really cute. Okay, so that, and then you're going to need two pie pans from the Dollar Tree. And then you'll need some of this Rust-Oleum multi-textured spray paint in the Desert Bisque. I've used this so many times and I really do love it. I might use some Crafter Square craft sticks. Not sure about that yet. And then some hot glue. Now I would recommend E6000 if you want this to really be um, sturdy, but I don't use it because of my allergies. Then you're gonna need some paint. Now down here in Pensacola, we have the prettiest beaches. Um, the sand is white. It looks like snow. I think it's adorable. And our water, for the most part, is almost always a real pretty teal and then a blue. Uh, ugh, it's gorgeous. So I'm going to be using, I think, the Apple Barrel Bahama Blue. And then the Folk Art Ocean View, maybe. We'll see. But I'm definitely going to be using the Apple Barrel Warm Buff for my sand. Um, because I don't want to make it white because it would probably just look like snow. <laughs> I think I'm going to be adding some baking soda to my paint to give it a little bit of a more sand texture. Then I have these Dollar Tree Fairy Garden items. I have this one. I'm not going to show you all because you'll see them in a minute. But I'm going to be incorporating this in it. And this. It just looks so happy. We can't forget the Volkswagen. We have a little boat and a boat house and some other things. Like I said, I'm not going to show all those. You'll see those in a minute. And then I'm going to be using, I think, a foam brush. Maybe not. We'll just see. So we'll get in here and see what we're going to do. So let me, I'm going to film from this angle because I think you can see this fairy garden much better than if I was standing here coming down at it. So let me get the camera flipped down and we will start this fairy garden DIY from the Dollar Tree. I'm really excited to do it. Okay, I just have my baking soda and my warm buff from Apple Barrel. I'm going to squirt this out. I don't know how much I'll need. And I'll put some of this baking soda in here. me a craft stick and just sort of mix this up. You definitely can make your fairy garden smaller. I decided I'm going to get this brush that I absolutely love because it definitely uses less paint. And I'm just going to start applying this on here like our sand. And it is really giving it that really good sandy texture. Now I would definitely paint the edges. I'm not going to paint the edges of this. a really nice sand look. I'll try to hold it up so maybe you can 
see it if I can. It has a lot of texture, all right? Now I'm going to go wash this brush because I don't want anything to dry. Okay, now I'm just going to take this leftover wood where he rounded the edges for me. And I'm going to go in here and see if I can get enough without making a new batch. And just kind of paint this. Hopefully I can. Okay, so I spray painted the tops of these pans right here with that spray paint because I want it to look like a little sand dune. <laughs> we used to have really big sand dunes down here. We don't anymore. I mean, they used to be really tall. But first, before I do that, I want some water. So, I'm just gonna set this down right here for now. not exactly the same color but that's okay with me and I'm just going to take my pencil and kind of sketch like the water is just sort of coming in there all right then I'm going to take probably this ocean well, I might go with darker and then add some on top. And I think I might just squirt this right in here. And maybe not even clean my brush. And go right in here. Because the little fairies have found a beautiful beach they are now at. of our water okay and I think I'm going to take this over in here somewhat now I'm going to take the lighter ocean view from folk art I'm going to pour some right in this little container just like I did earlier and I'm going to get this and I'm just going to kind of dab it on here to give it like an effect like it's rougher because the ocean well ours is typically very calm unless we're having a storm but I can remember when it was very rough I used to ride waves uh, rafts and waves <laughs> it was fun I think that's adding some dimension, making it look like little waves of water, all right? So now I'm going to take this. I'm going to take my hot glue gun. Like I said, I would do the E6000. If you want to know, it's not going to come off. Or if you want to do it like for outside, you wouldn't even have to do that. I'm going to put that right here, okay? And then I'm going to take this one, do the same thing. And I have my, a lot of you ask about my hot glue gun. I have it linked in my Amazon storefront if you're interested. These are very lucky fairies. 
to be living so close to the Gulf or the ocean, wherever you want them to live. All right. Now, this one, I'm going to take these little pieces, almost like the sand has made a little step for them. Okay, I'm gonna glue this down. I think these little fairy gardens are so sweet. And to me, this is just where sand has blown up. And like I said, it's just leftover wood. Does not have to be perfect. Okay, and then this one is going to get one right about, I think right here. Now the little fairies, even though they fly, let me show you. This is what we're getting so far, okay? I think it's really cute. All right, now I want to take this, and you can either glue it down or whatever you want to do. I think I might glue mine, because when I pick it up, I don't think it's gonna wanna I don't want it sliding. I'm gonna pick it up to show you all. Okay, there's that. All right, now we have to put the boathouse on here. It just has to be on here. Put it right there, and I think I'll put a chair. I'll make it in the back better, kind of like that. Let's see, we'll just start putting stuff on here and we'll see what we want and then we'll glue them down. He's been fishing. Maybe put that there, I'm liking that. Okay, here is our boat. I'm gonna stick it out there in a minute. I was going to just put it like, but I don't think I will. I was going to paint this like sand and put it under its tires, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Okay, we're just gonna glue him right on here, like that. Okay, maybe the guy that lives in the little shack here, the boathouse. So let's see, I'm going to put, I'm gonna place this stuff where I think I want it first before I glue it in case I don't like it. You have to have palm trees. There's a little sign. Maybe this is his welcome to his home. Okay, so I think I'll put that there. So I'll glue these down. You can do so much with these fairy garden items. I love them. So cute. I think I'd like to live right here. I can just hear the ocean. They've been playing in the sand. has to have his surfboard or she has to have her surfboard the little fairy people this is going to tell us which ways this and that I think I'm going to put this right here it's kind of like welcome to my world okay then I'm going to glue this down This might not set too straight because it's um, uneven. And then here's this. I think this is really sweet. 
put it right back here. We have to glue the chair down. <laughs> Here's his fish he caught. I went deep sea fishing with my dad one time. It was fun. I, I didn't get sick. I took, what is that stuff? Dramamine, that's it. And I didn't get sick at all. I think we were out 60 some miles. It was a lot of fun. Okay, and then we're gonna put this right here. Everybody to the beach. All right, then we're going to do this one. I have this for here. Put this one right here. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here. By this step. I should have angled this this way, but I didn't. So we'll just have this house going this way. I love these little fairy gardens. Okay, I think I'll put this, you could put this down on the sand, it would be really pretty. But I think I'm gonna put it right up here, looking right out into the water. Underneath that. Okay, we just have to put our boat on here. And this one is just going right out like this. <laughs> I think this is adorable. I'll try to hold it up and let you look at it, but I'd say I'll probably take it uh, take the camera down and let you see well, it. Well, here it is. I think you probably see it better when I take it down, but I'll hold it right like this. Look at that, how cute. And you could continue to embellish this with different things, but I think it's so sweet. You can almost smell the sea breeze and hear the seagulls. I love that, so adorable. I was looking like for some red, uh, not red, for some blue, like little rocks or something, and I couldn't find anything, but I love this. I think it is so cute. I'll take this down and let you look at it up close in a minute. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So I will see you tomorrow, Wednesday, for a Hobby Lobby haul. I was there over the weekend, like I said, on Monday, and I found so many wonderful things. And a couple things were on clearance, so I enjoyed that. So let me go get Maggie and let her say hi to you, and then we'll look at this up close. Well, here's the baby. No surprise, she was conked out on the couch, weren't you? She says, oh, mama. <laughs> she is hilarious. I woke up the other morning, Saturday morning. She was over next to Melvin, and she had the blankets all around her like she always does, but the only thing sticking out was her little nose and her little eyes were, you know, back in there looking, just looking at me like, Oh, Mommy, I love you so much. <laughs> Say hello. Say I love you. Say all my friends. Yes. Okay, let's take a look and see how this looks up close. I'll be right back. Okay, here it is. I'll step back and let you see it like that. Then we'll move in here. I think it's really cute. There's
there's our sand. You can see the texture that that gave and the water. Then here's this little fairy's house with the little palm trees, the surfboard, and the bucket, and the other flip-flops hanging there. Then that's the little welcome shell. Then here's the little bug right there. And then here is the boathouse. They've been fishing. Here's their little signs. They've also been playing. They have their life preserver right there because there is the boat. They're very conscientious for safety. <laughs> then here's this one. And they've got it all so cool. They have those beautiful palm trees. And then that umbrella and chair and their flip-flops. But I think this turned out really cute for a very whimsical little DIY. So until next time, bye guys.